According to a new paper, there has been exceptional warming over the Barents area. Now, this is up in Scandinavian Arctic. And it's one of the peer-reviewed papers that the mainstream uses to fearmonger the fact that the Arctic is warming 10 times faster than everywhere else. But the facts are that the Earth has not warmed at all in the last 25 years, and that's a big problem for global warming narrative. There's been no change since the late 90s. Now, the Barents region is up in Scandinavian Arctic in the northern tier, where some of the first human settlements in the region is estimated to have occurred around 40,000 years ago. But now it's, well, very cold up there. So not a lot of people living in that region. But the Barents region is along the Aurora Zone in northern Scandinavia. And you can see it circled here. And it's this auroral zone during the current magnetic excursion that we're experiencing is getting ex excited. It's getting lit up. And it's within this Arctic circle and the auroral zone that we should expect warming. But just in this ring, ding, ding, because that's where the heating occurs. Now, how does the aurora heat the upper atmosphere? Well, intense currents flow within and around the aurora, heating the atmosphere just as an electric current would heat a resistor. This heating has dramatic effects on the upper atmosphere. But several fundamental aspects remain undetermined, and luckily, new research is happening on the topic. Previously, it has been very difficult to measure the temperature of the atmosphere at auroral heights. It's just too high for most weather balloons, but also too low for spacecraft. However, a team of scientists recently made an exciting discovery through experiment and theory that the ratio of brightness of two specific auroral colors depends on the temperature of the atmosphere. And therefore, by observing these wavelengths in the aurora, they can calculate the temperature. So, we're waiting for that. Now, what we do know is that the magnetic dipole strength is rapidly decreasing, which is why we're calling for a magnetic excursion, which is ongoing and happening now. In fact, it started sometime in the late 1800s. But you can't get much data on it. They're hiding it from us. Here's a high-resolution magnetic field from Woods Hole, Massachusetts over the last century. And you can see in the 80s we had another rapid shift down. After the 1900s was another rapid shift down. And here we're looking at Boulder. The total field intensity in Nano Tesla. And you can see a continuous and increasing decrease through 2012. Now, what we do know is that since the Carrington event, the magnetic field of Earth has all but just shut down and has been rapidly declining. Between 2000 and 2010, there was a logarithmic change in the decrease. And then between 2010 and 2015, it became even more rapid. Now, using these predictions, we can project a date for the full magnetic excursion or magnetic field shift to occur sometime in 2035. Now, what else should we know about these polar excursions that they cause heating of the upper atmosphere at the polar cusps? But not only that, they rain down cosmic radiation. The weaker the field, the more radiation falls in. So... And from the last magnetic excursion, new data suggest increased cosmic radiation eroded the ozone's layer, altered global wind patterns, causing dramatic climate changes. 
In fact, ice sheets advanced in the higher latitudes and drought swept across the middle latitudes. Megafauna went extinct in Australia. Netherlands went extinct in Europe. Cave art flourished. Perhaps as humans took shelter from harmful solar radiation. So, it's coming because the magnetosphere is what protects us from dangerous cosmic rays. And it's clear due to the papers we've shared over the last six years or so that it also causes extinction level events and speciation or evolution all at the same time. Yes, Earth's magnetosphere is protecting our planet from harmful space energy. And it is waning rapidly. Heating the Barents region. Well, and putting us all at risk. Hope you got something out of the video. If you have any questions, leave them below. We'll be happy to answer them. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. And be safe. We love you. That's a boom. To knowledge.